John, get up here. I'm taking you places, says the Lord. Before we even get started, I've got your number, my hands on you.
even into the marrow of the bones, says the Spirit of God, even into the marrow of the bones. And the Lord said, get ready to hear about healing, 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 because things are shifting. It is the era of radical, supernatural, superhuman healing. Don't you love it when the Lord moves before it starts?
have to pay attention. Greatest, your greatest seasons, the most exciting chapters in your story, the page is turning. And the best part of your story is not you and Glenn. You walk by faith and not by sight. You rest in a bed of the promises of God. And your best seasons are Jesus is turning the page and he said enough of that old chapter. Does, any, does this resonate with anyone else? Okay, I think you need to throw your hands in the air and receive it. Because the Lord says, if you've got faith, this is your word. Enough of that all season, says the Spirit of God. I am the God that makes all things new. All things fresh. And all things good. You're going to learn how to say no thank you and be anointed. Elizabeth, the Lord says to you, I would drive you here to tell you I'm taking off fear of man. You've asked me to free you in the night, the Lord says. All the leftover residue. I'm blowing off the residue. You will not walk in fear of man. You will walk in fear of me, says the Lord. Caring far more what I think and what I say. Everybody point to Elizabeth and say he's freeing her up.
drove from Nacogdoches. So you don't think God's got something big for Adam? Adam, the Lord says, you're the apple of my eye and I love you. And I'm taking some stuff off of you and I'm infusing you. Can you, can you lift your hands up, Adam? I'm infusing you with more of my spirit, says the Lord. I'm bringing clarity to your mind. And something you battled with, the Lord says, it's falling off you tonight. I'll sit you here to free you up, buddy. Free you up, buddy. My love for you is endless. You are mine. You belong to me. And you bury your identity in me and what I say about you. And I just see false labels coming off you. Things have been said over you, Adam, that were not true. They weren't who you are. They weren't your destiny. And the Lord says, I'm blowing that woof, woof, woof off you. And I am telling you, you're wonderfully, fearfully made in my image. You look just like me, says the Lord, because you are mine. And you are one handsome dude. And that's the Lord. I'm your 
your provision. I've got what you need. Don't give it a care. I've got your provision. God's got everything. Thank you. 
and Dina. Yeah, your name is Dina and you're married to Charlie. Okay, so the Lord has already been telling you you've got a fun season. The Lord says you're going to live out colorful, crazy fun chapters that's in your scroll, that's in your destiny. And the Lord says, the more you, now this is only Jesus could say this stuff. The more you go and you don't worry and you don't get under the burden of any family member or any this or that, the Lord says, you're going to give me room to do miracles. You'll give me room to do miracles. So Pam and Kelly come slap these people. The Lord says the time, what's, you're branded with, this is the time of your life. He said it over Kay and Glenn. I'm, I'm decreeing it over Pam and Kelly. This, come here and let me slap you, sissy. Munching on the goodness of God, munching on the goodness of God, munching on the goodness of God. And the Lord said, the safest place to be is flowing with me. If it's not even in your plans and you get up and you know you're supposed to, let's just go, blah, blah. The Lord says, that's the safest place for you to be.
the front. I need the big daddies up front. I need big daddy. If you're a father. I hear the spirit of God say, thank you for being steady. Thank you for being stable for your loved ones. Thank you for doing the consistent thing of loving, of listening. Gary's a dad. Oh, I need daddies up here, Gary. And the Lord says, I've watched you be fathers and you continue to be fathers. And the Lord says, I'm very proud of you. And I know the Lord would give you more than this, but all we're given is a Whataburger car. So come get it. I'm very grateful for your stability and the Lord would be giving you more but all we're giving you is a $10 Whataburger car you're 50 years old or older but I'm sitting there and that's really a song that the Holy Spirit just gave Caleb and Michael and we just started flowing with it and we tried to quit three times Deb said don't quit and kept going but I'm sitting there and I'm listening and I'm listening and I'm thinking man this sounds familiar does anybody remember the TV show Love Boat <laughs> so then I think you know we're really in God's love boat right here because he's shedding his love on all of us, the real love. But that was a little bit of a love boat theme, boys and girls. Carlton Edwards, are you saying that Decoration Ministry is going to send us on a crew? <laughs>
and I'm lighting the way, and you don't have to have it all figured out. And I'm going to light, highlight what you're to do. Highlight. Some of you are going to be surprised. Some of you are going to be very surprised because I'm going to highlight a little different than what you're thinking. But that's where my provision is, and that's where it's light and it's easy. Mm-hmm. I've called you to be followers, and that's all your responsibility. Follow my voice. Everybody put your hand on your heart and say, I hear the voice of my Jesus. I hear the voice of my Jesus. I follow that voice. I follow that voice. Even when it shocks me. Even when it shocks me. Because he only leads to life. Because he only leads to life.
not just with us, we embody him. And he ain't going anywhere. And when we mess up royally and we even know better, he's not going anywhere. He can't fail. He won't turn his back. He won't run. He's not a three strikes and you're out kind of God. He's with you. He's for you. He's your rear guard. He's run ahead of you. He's in your tomorrow. And he's waving the victory flag. It never crosses his mind. You might fail. You've got everything you need to succeed. You've got resurrection power, going on power. You are kept by the power of the Most High God. Come on, it's love. 
just hear the Spirit of God saying, um, He is, He has um, a mission to love our walls down, and some of us have had walls. Some are flimsy walls as of late, and some are really fortified walls. And the Lord says, when you let me love your walls down, I can get to you. I can get my blessings. I can get your breakthrough. I can get your miracle. But we keep him out sometimes guarding our heart. I've even heard us use, oh, I've got to guard my heart. Well, that doesn't mean a wall up. Do you know a lot of people use that scripture about guarding my heart? What that actually means is guard your heart that you're not offended and bitter and unforgiving. A lot of people use it as self-preservation, which is out of context. So everybody put your hand on your heart and say, God, I give you permission. I give you permission. Love my walls down. Love, Love them all the way down. All the way down. I want you to be able to get to me. I want everything you have for me. I want my miracles, my breakthroughs, my provision, my direction, my healing. Now we all need to do this, say, my walls are falling down. My walls are falling down. My walls are falling down. They go. All the way down. scripture where he has placed everything more than we could think or imagine inside of us from the beginning and the walls of Jericho weren't stopping stuff to come that's where everything was and God was saying everything that y'all want provision, blessings, healing was already put inside of us and when you put that wall up it's not that God couldn't get to your heart you just couldn't access it and when we were worshiping I heard the walls crumble to dust yeah. so that everything that was already put inside of us can come to fruition. Yeah. Yeah.
drilling into untapped resources that's what just keeps I hear over and over in my spirit is we're drilling into untapped resources like it goes in line with the walls coming down and the the hidden treasures inside and it's like the river of life comes out of me but some of us have only had a trickle drilling into untapped potential. We are drilling into untapped resources. Pressure build inside <laughs> and burst forth where I can't hide. So, Holy Spirit, let the pressure build inside and burst forth where I can't hide. Yeah, I'm 
you've never heard this before, the Lord said, this is the perfect time, and you are the hand-chosen people that will get this. It's time to look inside, all the way down into who you really are, and to know in this moment that you were made for this. You were made for intimacy. You were made for the mysteries to be revealed. You were made for these moments of glory. I've, I've never seen an angel ride, uh, uh, an angel on a trapeze. And there's, there's a golden trapeze. And the angels are having so much fun because we've paused and entered into a new place. And, it, and you had to be here. Your hunger doesn't. Your hunger pulls it in. But it's time to look down and look on the inside of you, the real eternal, the eternal deep part, and to realize and to say to yourself, you were made for this. Barbara, we're going to do a prophetic act. Um, the Lord said this is the perfect time. I, I need to look for something. I need to look for something. In this moment, he's going to remove something off you. The Lord said it's been like you've been invisible. Way, way too often in your life you've been invisible. And the Lord said he's removing that. It's a spiritual thing. So he's removing it. The Lord says, I'm even removing and displacing even a stigma that has followed you. And it's over and it's done and it's uncovered and you're being uncovered in the name of Jesus. No longer will you be invisible. No longer will any stigma follow you, says the Lord, free and clear and unencumbered, this is who you are. And the Lord said, I've been preparing you for the new wine. And I couldn't pour the new wine in an old wine skin because it would burst. But I've been molding you and shaping you and forming you into a new wine skin to carry the new wine. And he said, I saved the best for last. So if that's you, I just want you to lift up your hands right now. And Lord, I thank you for these new wine skins. I thank you for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Elizabeth, 
the Lord says, did, did you see that? Did you see that? We're going to fan the flame. Nothing like the presence of the Most High God. Nothing like, nothing like giving room for glory. Nothing like standing in a glory storm and enjoying it. Nothing like backing up and giving God room to move. Nothing like fellowshipping with the angels riding crazy swings across the ceiling. playing and it's ushering in the king. I saw him coming in and I heard that song, his train fills the temple and God is sitting right there waiting just to give you the desires of your heart. And as the music is playing, there's a holiness over this place. over this place because he's wanted in this place and as he comes he's going to give you the desires of your heart and the train fills the temple and when the train comes in that means the glory comes in with you taken place there are several people that need healing in their circulation and the Lord says by my spirit I'm giving you a um, chelation therapy and I'm busting the calcium out of your veins and you uh, even cold hands and feet are going to change and the Lord says if uh, grab grab the healing in your circulation grab it right now just grab it the Lord says, I'm the God that healeth and glad to do it. I'm the God that heals you and I'm glad to do it. I love telling you what I'm doing. It's yours. Grab it. Grab it. Chelation therapy, a superhuman, supernatural chelation therapy going on in our blood veins, in our vessels, in our veins, in our arteries. And the Lord says, what can happen in the natural I can do in the supernatural in one split second. And I'm glad to do it. I'm your glad to do it healer. I'm your glad to do it deliverer. I'm the God that sets you free. I'm the God that gets you unstuck. And I do it with a lot of glee. I'm your God. I'm your Father. I'm your Lord.
when you know it's not, I'm not really talking about wasn't really written for lost people. It's believers that get worn out and worn down, and they're they're not in the secret place. They're not even going to the secret place. They're just wore out. And we've all been there. We've all burned out. We've all ended up doing things in our own strength, wondering why we're burned out. The Lord just says, when you get lost soul, that just means your mind's not engaged with the mind of Christ, and you're not operating out of grace and mercy. And uh, that's why the person of mercy is calling you. I mean, literally, mercy is saying, Jenny, come home. Adam, come home. Come and get it, whatever you need. And I have a word for people that are you have a um, a spouse that is not um, walking the same walk as you. And the Lord said, I want you to know that I've heard every prayer you've prayed. And your tears that you've cried over your partner have been liquid prayers. Sometimes you haven't had the words, but your tears have been liquid prayers. And the Lord says, I've caught them. And... This song is prophesying to the partners that aren't really hungry. They're going through the most. Some, some aren't hungry at all. Some are lost. But the Lord says, my thumb is on them, and I'm calling them into my presence. I'm calling them into salvation. I'm calling them into a walk with me. I'm calling them into a refreshing. And so if that's you and you have a partner like that the lord says i've heard your prayers i'm answering your prayers i'm doing what only i can do in them that's when you say come home the lord says i'm wooing them i know how to woo them into my heart so everybody say yes lord do it quickly
one who is an to come is here right now. <laughs> One who is and is to come is here right now. One who is and is to come is here right now. One who is and is to come is here right now. Drummer lady, little drummer lady on the back row. Come up here, little drummer lady. I went to her church the other day and she's a drummer and she was so cute. And, and Teresa back there's a bass and, play, and you can bump it, sister. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed that. You play keys and thump the bass. It's fabulous. So this is what the Lord is saying. I, I don't think this is supposed to be on the mic.
have anything? If not, we're about to seal this up. Jonathan. blockage we speak to it we command it we give you no choice but to go in the name of Jesus healing flow and blockage go healing flow and blockage go in the name of Jesus the name above every name we appropriate the stripes of Jesus the stripes of Jesus the stripes of Jesus to this ear in Jesus name and we call it free free Missing nothing broken. Hey, 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 hey! Free. Free. fun to run around with anybody. He's, my God, some people need to lighten up that like Jesus. Thank you. 
digestion healed and whole. No more indigestion. No more heartburn. No more getting up and taking out yourself or rolling. In the name of Jesus. And dare I say it? Pooping. Whole. Elimination. Whole. Elimination, you be perfect in the name of Jesus. Okay, I just hear anything sluggish. Anything sluggish, any organs, anything sluggish. We drive out the sluggishness and replace it with wholeness. Life, life, healing, life, abundant life, divine health, divine health. We don't just want to keep getting healed. We want to walk in divine health. Divine health. Divine health. Put your hand say body you're under subjection to me your temple of Holy Ghost I command you to receive wholeness be filled up with Shalom now body you begin to function the way God made you to function with nothing lacking Nothing sluggish, nothing confused in the name of Jesus. Body, you're healed, you're whole, and I'm going to feel different. Father, we thank you for showing up, for showing off. Lord, we thank you for healing. We thank you for opening our eyes, dropping off scales so we can see you, we can see your glory. And Lord, as we go out tonight, Lord, we just ask that we would burn brighter. Lord, that your fire would burn hotter in our in our bodies, Lord, that we would be a light in the darkness, Lord, that we would bring you to the masses, bring you to everybody we encounter, bring you to everybody that we touch, that we work with, that we live with. Lord, even the passers-by, Lord, we just ask that as you go, as we go out, you go out with us. Lord, I ask that you bless each and every person that came through this door tonight. That you would abundantly increase, but also surpass every expectation that they have. That there would be no limits that you break, that no limits that you stop at, and you would go further in the Lord. I pray, Lord, that each and every ear would be opened in this building. That each and every tongue would be loosed. That each and every spirit would be renewed. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would ignite a fire inside each and every individual in this building right now that would be unquenchable, that there's nothing that would be able to stop it. Lord, I speak the abundant life that you promised that you came for over each and every heart, each and every individual. I speak 
to each and every heart that their vision would increase beyond everything that they would hope, dream for, or imagine. Lord, that you would open doors that they thought were shut, that you would unblock every obstacle that is in their way, Lord, that you would just breathe a fresh air inside each and every person, new newness around all of them. Lord, we just thank you again for your faithfulness and your loving kindness in Jesus' name. Thank you.